Welcome to Synthetic Oil Protection. I'm your host, Eben. Today, you're gonna see how to get Chevy Tahoe truck to actually run better than brand new. Low mileage for its age, 160,000 miles. Welcome to Eben's giveaway. Stay to the end. You are gonna see a lot of great action. Step number one, the engine flush. This gets rid of all that carbon buildup from burning all the oil over the years. Basically, if you think of burning butter on a frying pan, that's what happens when you burn mineral oil. A oil manufacturer can call a full synthetic full synthetic when it's only 25% synthetic. So we're gonna clean up all that buildup by putting in this flush. This is gonna clean up the carbon around the rings, around the timing chain, oil cooler ports. If you have a turbo engine, it's gonna clean that up. All right, we got her started up. We're gonna let her idle here for 15 minutes, but in the meantime, we're gonna put in this additive. And now it's time for the PI cleaner. Clean the valves, injectors, carbon deposits inside the combustion chamber. Put it in every 4,000 miles. Just too easy. Just shove it in. A gulpa, gulpa, gulpa. That's it. This is a little demonstration of a dirty injector. Basically, the stream shoots perfectly straight. And atomization of an injector that atomizes in mists like this, where all the little droplets go really fine with air in between. What that does, it allows on each combustion for it to burn more fuel. Burn more fuel, you make more power. Clean that injector by using the PI cleaner. <coughs> all right, it's time to go ahead and drain her down. All right, we'll go ahead and crack her loose. Easy as pie. And now we should be able to get her by finger. We got our 15 mil. And uh, the lube is going to be coming out on the count of three. A one, a two, and a three. And there she blows. That's what we call the liquid Chaco. And that right there is lots of carbon, lots of sludge, all melted down, all that buildup. And uh, we're going to be yanking off our filter now. We got what we call as our good old bear claws. And there we go. Just give her about a minute to drain and then we'll yank her off. I think threads for miles. And there she is. That's what our filter looks like. Now it's time to throw on our fresh one. Time to prime our oil filter. And we're using a good Wix filter. If you didn't know, Wix is the first uh, to make the thread on oil filter way back, I believe in 1955. And we're gonna use this one for about 5,000 miles. Then we're gonna put on a good AMS oil filter. And that's just to get all the old carbon buildup out. So the sludge doesn't quite get it all out, but it gets a heck of a lot of it. And now we just get her all nice and lubed up. Just two finger. And we call it pouring honey on pancakes. Nothing like getting it nice and lubed. And now we thread her on. Threading on our filter. And the good thing is, you don't need a wrench to thread her on just by finger. And once it touches, all you do is just go about another half a turn. So we go right here and right about there. Perfect. From 2007 to 2023, this is all the carbon buildup in this motor at 160,000 miles. This is what we call the liquid chockle. That's disgusting. Yep. All those little crummy carbon particles that scratch your pistons, they wear out your cam, and they also don't let the motor breathe inside. It's like choking a chicken, or you could think of uh, yeah, yeah. That's what it looks like. Huh. It's a little bit soupy. Yep. All right, it's that time to put in the liquid gold, the 100% synthetic. And this stuff right here has gone 30,000 miles on some engines and the oil still in excellent condition. Passing the golden torch of honor to Susan, <laughs> it's your chance to put in the liquid gold. Ah. Something so pure, so clean. Go ahead, crack it loose okay. and pour it in the funnel. It goes down into the crankcase oil, and you're gonna be hearing just how good it runs and seeing her reaction in a minute. Here, ah, on. look at that gold. Get a close-up of it. Look at how pure. 
you almost can't even talk when it's happening. It's so pure and beautiful. <laughs> so you saw the liquid charcoal, and now we're gonna tag team her. And that's it, six quarts of lube going in. Ah. Nice. Beautiful. Bottoms out in the hood, and that's it. The liquid gold's in. See how she starts up? All right, that's our first start up with the liquid gold. Let's see what Susan thinks. <laughs> it's driving really well. Put some pedal to the metal there. Wow. Sounds good. It had a little bit of a knocking to it. Wow. And I think uh, this might have cleared it up. Wow. And the miles is only 169. 169.5. So it's like a brand new truck. Brand spanking new. Drives really well. Yeah, there was, I mean, the last time you drove it, remember? Yeah. A couple of months ago, it yeah. had that not a good sound. Yeah, it was making a little hesitation. Yeah, yeah. like, yeah, or skipping or something. I gave her some upper cylinder lubricant just to see how it would run, and it ran quite a bit better. I, we did the octane booster. We did the octane booster and the upper cylinder. Yeah, we and, did three uh, things that day. Oh, the three. We did the PI, that, and now we're coming back on a second bottle of PI cleaner. And it's probably been a good, what, three, 4,000 miles, probably. Oh, easy, yeah. Easy, yeah. yeah. And kind of the second uh, bottle of PI cleaner, you'll notice a big improvement in the cleanup. Okay. And um, so, yeah, it takes about five gallons to go through, and it just completely cleans those valves and injectors. Crazy. So how she? How, how many years have you had this little angel? Uh, 2007. Wow, you got it brand new. I did 28, 28 miles on it. <laughs> wow. Wow. 28. And what's your favorite thing about the Tahoe? You know, it rides really nice. It sits up high. It's comfortable. I can fit all my workout stuff in it. I can put my bike in here. My road bike fits in here. Um, nice. And it's just nice. It handles well if I go off-road. I don't have four-wheel drive, but it, it handles really nicely if I go off-road. Uh-huh. Not a big off-road person, but it just handles well. I love it. It's comfortable. So we went a whole uh, point five five miles. What's the biggest difference so far? I, it seems better to me already. Like how? Just from the knocking or the oh, whatever. Right. Because I could feel it when I was driving it before. And you said you had a something with the oil. It was burning some oil? Yes. Yeah. Right. It, 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 typically, um, between oil changes, um, it, it, I, run, I burn oil. About how much usually? Uh, anywhere from a quart to two quarts. Wow. And that's yeah. in only 5,000 miles? Yeah. Wow. Oh my so in gosh. between changes, inevitably, I have to, if my light will come on and tell me. Wow. So this will be the true test of time. Yeah. yeah. And we'll be back in about 5,000 miles to change the filter. We're going to top her off with oil, and uh, we'll see um, how the oil consumption's doing. We've had vehicles like this on the channel go from burning two quarts of oil in 5,000 miles to burning 0.4 quart, not even half a quart, in 10,000 miles. So we'll see. Well, I'll look forward to that. Yeah. It's, it's an inconvenience. <laughs> Anything closing notes, Susan? No, thank you so much. All I'm, right. I feel very blessed. <laughs> I love it. Cheers to keeping your vehicles wet, lubed, and protected. Mm. Welcome to Evans Giveaway. All right, it's time for our selection. We got our random cards here. We got all our people that have been a part of the channel over the years. I really appreciate you. And uh, all these people leave comments on the channel. And if you want to get in the giveaway, all you do is leave a comment within the first half hour. That really helps out. And giving it a thumbs up, I appreciate that. Give them a little mix here. And a little fan. And if you didn't know, I have another YouTube channel. If you like entertainment, Las Vegas Magic Friends, check out that channel. I go ahead and give them a little mixeroo And one quick shuffle. Little fan. We got $200 gift card winners right out the middle. Boom. Let's see who we got. We got our good man, Queen of Spades. That is Carmen Capero. Thanks, Carmen. 
$100 gift card. Pixis Spades, Boris Ornelli. Thank you, Boris. I always appreciate you being a part of the channel and I uh, appreciate everybody over the years. We did a Snap-on uh, giveaway back a few months ago, but we also have uh, another one coming up, which is gonna be March 28th, I believe, last Sunday of the month, 7 a.m. You'll see it here on the channel. And uh, it's a lot of fun uh, giving back to the community, as I always live by, loving and giving makes life worth living. And the more you give, the better you live. So that's why I get up in the morning. I get up in the morning to lube to love, love to lube, helping people take care of their car. And I uh, love Vegas, love helping people. So if you're ever in town, let me know. And uh, always happy to get together, do a video, getting your car all dialed in. But uh, before we go here, I want to give you a little entertainment. So we're going to take a card here. We call this the move. Three, two, one. Boom. Just a push. Snap. Comes back to the top. Whatever we got here. Five. Just a little rub. Let's see. So that's what we do. So if you want to see more of that, go to Las Vegas Magic Friends. That's my other channel. I just do it for fun, giving back to the community. And uh, appreciate all these people here. Really appreciate you guys over the years for always uh, leaving comments on the channel. And um, if you ever want to try the liquid gold, you'll see all the comments in down in the description section. Click on one of those links. That'll attach me to you. I can answer all your questions in the future about improving the performance and lifespan of your vehicles and equipment. That's what I love to do. <laughs> so definitely um, share this video with a friend. Let them know about what the products have done for you. And leave that down in the comments. I'd like to know what was your uh, favorite lube and what did it do for you? Whether it's a fuel additive, gear oil, transmission fluid. I'd love to know because, you know, we all come from a different place, whether it's somewhere hot like Vegas or we live somewhere where it's super cold, where your car just doesn't warm up quick enough. I'd love to know down there and we'll see you back on the next one. I want you to check out this video. This one is on how to get the best performance out of your transmission. Check out this video here and we'll see you back right here on Las Vegas Magic Friends is my other channel and we'll see you right here on synthetic oil protection and you can tap the little subscribe symbol here. We'll see you back next time. Cheers to keeping your vehicles wet, lubed, and protected.